Alrighty guys, here is my new, I'm setting up my new motley cage right here my for my motley boas. And this is my beautiful little female. She's really, really nice. Not head shy at all. I love her to death. She's really beautiful and really curious about what's going on right now. She's never struck, nothing. I do have a little trouble feeding her sometimes, but the other day she pounded down two mice, like, or not the other day, I guess it was about a week ago, pounded down about two mice. It was really awesome. And I've decided to call her Angel. Why I've decided to call her Angel will be apparent here in a second. So look, she just loves to be held, loves attention. Why I call her Angel is because of this little guy. This is the male. And he is not the nicest boa in the world. Come back, girly. And I will have to admit, I am scared of being bitten, and I don't know why, even though I have been tagged by a pretty big boa, I don't know, she was about six foot plus not too long ago. And this guy is just, you can see him arcing up, he's just not happy. But he's, he's really pretty, he's got a really good dark tail on him. As opposed to this girl, she's actually really light, as you can pretty much see. She's really light, and he's somewhat dark. But he has really good pattern on him. But you can just see he's really, really pissy. And so, as you can imagine, why I call the other one Angel. So I gotta get him used to me. I really don't like being bit by bows. I've been bit by corns, I just don't get bit that often. And that's my problem. He's just one mean little dude. Alright guys, here is their finished cage. Looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Of course, little Motley's up there. Little Angel's up there flying around, being all flighty, loving it. I put a little fuzzy in there to see if she'd eat it. It is pretty small for her, but this way I can kind of leave it in there for a little bit without her getting worried about her being bit. And then of course, Mr. Grumpy Gills, Lucifer's just sitting here in corner being all puffed up being a little biatch like he always is I do have this temperature gauge mounted in here that way I had my corns in there and they never knock it over 